Hey, we're heading to uh, San Luis Obispo. Can't do it. You gotta head back to Monterey, Salinas, 68, or 68 East and 101. You need to go back, for sure. For the sure. road is close on 40 miles. What about uh, the road through Nacimento, Ferguson? That's not good. It's a private road for the army. What about the uh, road through the military Nacimiento, base? we don't recommend it. Okay. Especially when it's raining, you know. Me, I went to it. I do it during the summer. Yeah. But the winter is totally different. You don't want to take that though. Just got heavy rains and guarantee there's a lot of, uh, you know, mud and could be rocks. get messy. Yeah. It's gonna take you probably an extra two hours over than just doing this one. Uh, you can go south here to Kirk Creek, about 45 minutes south, and look for the turnoff going over the hills mm -hmm. called Nacimento Ferguson Road. Through Fort Hunter Liggett? Yeah. It's narrow, it's windy, it's probably not the worst road you've ever been on if, you, if you're if you not in a rush and you can take your time. Go for it. Thank you. Good morning guys from Big Sur. We are at the Fernwood Resort and they have these amazing RV sites here. But today we're going to uh, hit the road and everybody says we shouldn't do it, but we're gonna do it. And we're gonna do it because you know we have local knowledge and we've done it before in other vehicles. So this should be fun, but I really enjoyed our uh, time here in Big Sur and at the uh, Fernwood. We were saying last night when we were sitting by the fire, we could stay here for like a week. It's also, uh, there's no cell phone service. So Which has been it, really nice it, actually. It, yeah, the first night was a little like awkward and what a little tense, you know, and then second night it's like, ah, you know, we actually started to unwind and get into it. And I'm really looking forward to 2018 because there's gonna be a lot more places where we're off grid. Yep, I finished a whole book while we were here. It's like the first time I've read a book since Shelby got sick. And by the second night, I was like, no, don't turn the TV on. <laughs> it was nice. I do have one complaint. What? The river's just too damn loud. That's <laughs> all you hear here is this damn river. It never stops. You just want to turn it off, don't you? Yeah, or maybe like turn the volume down about 50%. Just kidding. This place is amazing. So our first night here, it was raining and we put the awning out and covered up the picnic table and we were still able to have a fire and stay dry. But there's that noisy ass river again. But yeah, this is a really, really cool location. Highly recommend it. guys this is it we are at the junction of the one and nascimento ferguson road we're not doing anything so risky or stupid that we're gonna get hurt 
everything is good, but people just tend to over exaggerate. And obviously some vehicles are not meant to do this road. Like we wouldn't do this road in Nelly mm -mm. with the trailer, but a 23 foot class C, no problem at all. It says nothing over 30 feet. But it's also been a pretty scenic drive on the way down. Mm -hmm. You know, we were locked into that fog bank for a while, yeah. but once it lifted, it was spectacular. Gorgeous. And uh, this is also probably going to be the last stretch where we get some drone footage because up and over the hill is where the uh, Fort Hunter Liggett military base starts and there's probably regulations about that. What do you think so far? Well, it was never on my bucket list, but I can check off driving a motorhome on the Nacimento Ferguson Highway. <laughs> it's not that bad at all. It's not horrible in terms of the driving. It's just very, um, like if you didn't have any fear of heights, you'd be totally fine. If you're I'm a passenger and had a fear of heights, it would be brutal. Oh no, this is significant enough that I'm like, this while I'm driving it. <laughs> well, we're getting some great footage. Good. Shelby's well enough to sit in the back seat by herself again and wear a seat belt. Well, as you noticed, we just came over a summit and I also remembered we never really filled you in as to like how we have background on this road. And I've taken it from uh, when I was visiting my friend Jeremy in the King City area over here to the coast and then back and then I've also taken it on our way out from a hunting trip because I used to go hunting at Fort Hunter Liggett, the military base up here. And then fairly early in our dating life. That first summer. Yeah, uh, we went for a ride and you know, like you know, you've heard us say before, we enjoy going for rides. <laughs> <laughs> like a dog, oh, let's go for a ride. I'm gonna go for um, a ride. But took back and that summit, there's roads that kind of go off on each side and there's free camping up there. And if you like just want to boondock and be out in the middle of nowhere, it's awesome up there. But it was also the first time uh, it let you shoot some of my guns. Yep, that's true. Let me? Yeah, I'll let you. <laughs> it's a privilege. Is it? Yes, to hold a man's gun. Welcome to Mission San Antonio de Padua. Uh, we did it. No big deal. Just like I said, but everybody freaks out about it. So the uh, moral of today's video is take everything with a grain of salt. And if you have some local knowledge, use it. But I don't know. So many people, and I guess for the average person, it probably is best if they go up and around. But we're not average and we're not normal. So one of the things we really like about the east coast of the United States and Europe for that matter is there's a lot of history. And this is the third oldest mission in California from 1771. That's a long time ago. 
It really is. Since this is a uh, religious place, I'd like to uh, make sure it's okay if we uh, film inside. It's it, fine, yep. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Thank you for asking. <laughs> no so problem. Hmm. Here's the gardens. This is uh, really pretty. That is quite the rose garden when it's blooming. This is the church. Yes, it is. Wow. This is beautiful, guys. They uh, still hold Sunday service here every week. It looks like they can fit quite a few people. These missions are really one of California's uh, hidden gems. Interesting bit of current information about the mission is that they are actively trying to raise another $3 million to retrofit this place and meet California mandates. Um, they've already raised seven. <laughs> That's a big task. Quite impressive what they've already done. Um, but they have to do that in order to meet the new requirements for the state to retrofit. So I didn't know that old historical sites like this would be held to that standard, but apparently they are. All right, now we are off to a ranch. Uh, my old buddy, Steve, he lives up here. Uh, his girlfriend has a ranch like 12 miles away. So we're gonna head on over and stay the night, which will be fun, you know, cause <laughs> cattle guard. Uh, it's a beautiful area up here and get to hang out with an old friend. All right, that is the main entrance to Fort Hunter Liggett. A lot of cool stuff happens here. A lot of training exercises. You'll be driving through the area and then you'll see just tanks busting through the terrain, doing their thing. A lot of cool stuff. And it's really awesome that they allow civilians to have access to hunt on the base because there's a lot of ground here. And you saw from the drive, it's beautiful. All right. The code worked. All right, guys, we are all settled in for the night. Thanks for riding along with us today. Got a lot of good shots, I think. A little bit different than what you're used to, you know, kind of that third person point of view instead of first. But it was also kind of a safety thing because that road is so damn windy. Plus, we have two vehicles. So, hey, thanks for riding with us today. We'll see you tomorrow.